The Red Hawks are back in town. Fargo Moorhead making their return tonight after a week long road trip. The Hawks kicking off a three game series against the Kane County Cougars, bringing a five game winning streak along with them. It wouldn't take the Red Hawks very long to find the scoreboard in their return to Newman Outdoor Field. Leo Pena cracks this one down the third baseline, sending it bouncing over the third baseman's head to bring Manny Boscon home. Fargo Moorhead finishes the first frame with a 1 0 lead. They hold that lead until the top of the fourth inning. Uh, Christian Robinson up to bat with a runner on. He launches a long ball deep into right field, bringing the tying run in all the way from second. The Cougars aren't done either. Brandon Layton with a very high, very long fly ball to left center. This one is caught for the out, but he gives the go ahead run plenty of time to come home from third. Kane County with a two to one lead. They're up three to one later in the fourth innings. The sky starts to get darker at Newman. Peyton Wigington stops the bleeding though, striking the batter out, swinging to retire the side. Wigington making his debut on the mound tonight for Fargo Moorhead. Those nasty conditions outside force an early end to this one. After a weather shortened six inning game, Kane County won three to one. These two teams meet again tomorrow in part two of their three game series. NFL wide receiver Adam Thielen set up shop in West Fargo today. The Vikings receiver hosting a camp for young athletes in the FM area. There were two different age groups holding sessions today with the younger athletes in action this morning. Thielen told us that for this younger group, the mission was more about being active rather than teaching specific drills or skills. Joining Thielen were several members of the North Dakota State football team, including quarterback Cam Miller and receiver Phoenix Sproles. Events like this hit close to home for Thielen, who graduated from Detroit Lakes High School and then Minnesota State Mankato before finding his home in the NFL. We talked to him after the opening session about being able to show these young players that professional athletes can come from anywhere. The kind of message is, uh, is I'm the same person that you are. You know, the, the guys I'm around the locker room, they're no different than these kids right here. They grew up just like like they did. So um, it's kind of cool, you know, uh, uh, to have have the example, and I've had that example as well, of, of guys coming from NDSU and making it to the NFL and, and being able to see, hey, they can make it from a small town and, and, uh, and, and go to a small school and, and make it to the big leagues. Thielen's in the middle of preparing for this next season under a brand new head coach, but first, of course, taking a little bit of time to give back. Stick around, Hutch is going to be back with one last look at this wild weather when we come back.